It looks like the new James Bond movie is already a gigantic failure, and it hasn't even come out yet. So here's a really good example of why Hollywood needs to stop sitting on movies and just release them. No Time to Die needs to earn $900 million to break even as the most expensive James Bond movie ever. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about what it means to sit on these movies. And I guess some movies, at least according to some conversations that I've seen happen over on Midnight's Edge live streams, uh, it can be like a million dollars a month because of like insurance and stuff for these movies to just sit and not get released. And it looks like that might have factored into No Time to Die and why it needs so much money now. And this probably isn't even, I don't know if this is future estimates or what, but don't forget when this movie gets closer to coming out, and I, I think it comes out finally next month, like they're going to have to ramp up marketing again. They can't just release it. No one will go see it. They need to tell you it's coming. So they're going to have to rake up marketing again, which is even more money. This movie is a failure because there's no way in hell it's going to even get close to $900 million. Suicide Squad barely made $40 million last weekend, and that was a really good movie. This movie's not going to be a very good movie. And I'll tell you why. I, I have no faith in this movie. I think this movie's going to be a gigantic piece of shit. Uh, for a while now, you've been seeing stuff like this. Time's up for James Bond. Is 0072 toxic for the Me Too era? He's talking about a viral video that showed his most misogynistic moments. And it's a reminder that this most enduring hero no longer fits. Like, you can't have him anymore. And basically, like, James Bond is like a male fantasy. That's what he is. He's a male fantasy. A spy that, you know, does what he wants, basically. He lives kind of a suave, party boy, bachelor play play like lifestyle. Always hooking up with hot-ass women and getting into adventures. It's a male fantasy. It is. You know, th think of the scene of him sitting all cool and badass at a poker table with a cigarette. And a and a big old a big old cocktail or whatever he's drinking. It used to be martini, but uh, I think they've changed that, right? Maybe in the new one, he'll drink Mike's Hard Lemonades or one of those fruit punch drinks. I mean, why not? He's a he's a Bond for the modern era. Don't forget that they brought in Phoebe Waller Bridge, big time humanist, to come in and and help write this script to modernize him for the Me Too era, basically. Kind of funny that it, I, I believe that was announced a little bit after this video went viral. This is back in 2018. This is 2019 right here where she's talking about how it's absolutely relevant now, but the film has to treat women right. But you know what's funny? If they came out with a female spy thriller where she's going around and just banging tons of dudes and treating them like objects, that would be totally fine. In fact, that would be stunning and brave and groundbreaking. But, you know, if a dude wants to hook up with a bunch of women, he's using them and he's emotionally destroying them and stuff. It's it's such a it's such a double standard. I mean, I showed you guys that vice picture like a couple of videos ago where it's like they had a picture of like this Reddit that talks about how hot female Olympians are and how wrong that is. And then vice on like the same day or the day after or before had an had an article sh all about some olympians abs this dude's abs in his chest but you know that's okay that's all right so this show this 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 film is going to be a train wreck i have no confidence in it whatsoever none particularly with phoebe waller bridge being brought in she's one of the reasons why i think the new indiana jones movie is going to be a pile of shit uh, she's been brought in. God, you know, what a what a joke James Bond is now. And they're going to make him a joke because the way they're setting it up. And from what I've read with leaks that's come out for this movie, spoilers, but, you know, I could be wrong. I don't think I am, though, is he's kind of kind of be a butt of the of a, he's going to be the joke of the movie. And the younger woman that they've brought in 
to be the new 007 because he's retired. Don't forget that. He's a retired man in this film. Uh, it's going to be about him being old and broken while she's just running circles around him. And uh, I, I think they're going to turn him into a joke. I wouldn't be surprised if he dies in this movie. And maybe she'll take up the she'll take up the mantle. I'm sure the next movie with her as the star will make a billion dollars. So no, this movie's not going to make nine hundred million. Not going to make nine hundred million. I, I I would be shocked if it made three to four hundred million. Because I mean the, the standard to look at here is Fast Nine and to an extent Godzilla versus Kong, but the difference between Godzilla versus Kong is Fast Nine had no streaming option. You had to go to theaters to see it. Tomorrow, Fall Guy comes out. That's going to be another example. Uh, that movie has no streaming option to see it. You have to go to theaters to see it. So I don't know if they're just going to put this on Amazon Prime and theaters. That'll hurt it even more. Because if you remember, Amazon bought MGM. So I believe they now have the rights to James Bond. So things could change, actually, with them at the helm. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, I just don't see this movie <laughs> making $900 million. Fast 9 only made about 500 Okay. Now maybe it'll make more with stream. But Fast 9 is just a dumb, fun movie. This movie is reportedly going to be a little bit woke. And I just don't see that happening. And by the way, it's likely going to get even worse because this article breaks down like they're talking about delaying it again. Because it's supposed to come out September 30th in the United Kingdom and October 8th in the United States. And I just you think they're really going to release this? We're coming into fall. They're already talking about cases going up. I could see theaters getting shut down again for sure which means they would have to delay this. Amazon should just put it on streaming services, to be honest. But I just don't see this being a success. I think it's going to be one of the worst James Bond film, one of the worst James Bond films ever made. And, you know, I, I just, one of the core things about this character, like I said, is that it's a male fantasy. And no male fantasizes about being a loser and usurped and treated like a joke loser by a woman which is exactly what this is going to be. You're basically taking everything that people loved about the character and flipping it on its head and making him a, a joke, old dinosaur, uh, doesn't like women anymore. Like I said, you might as well just give him a, a, a Mike's Hard Lemonade and call it a day. It's going to be a shitty movie. I have no faith in it. If it is good, great. I love James Bond movies. I'm happy to be wrong here, but something tells me I won't be, and this movie is going to be one of the worst box office disasters. I mean, Suicide Squad, that movie still, I mean, at the end of the day, I think they are kind of realizing, hey, there were circumstances, this, there's no way out of it. 900 million, not going to happen. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you will, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.